Well, now I'm alive. Uh, yeah. And right. I will be starting. The so game I'll mode. be ending, and then I'll, uh, and then I'll be back. Sounds good. Bye. All right. See you. See ya. See you. See ya. <clears throat> I added something to my throne today, and it's just uh, a button that you click. It says "fuck." <laughs> Hi, Deadpool. How you doing? I thought that'd be a good investment into the stream. Just, just a button to pr I press. It says "fuck." You know. Marina, hello. How you doing, Marina? I love the I love that emote. <laughs> Classy mad because I pushed him today. No, I wasn't mad. I was just very tired today, so I'm sorry if it sounded like I was mad. I was not mad. <laughs> I guess we'll get all set up here. Ah, blah, 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 blah. My computer has been giving me troubles lately, so I hope I don't have run any issues today. I was playing Halo yesterday on stream, and oh my god. My stream broke multiple times. But Anne and uh, Mumu, how are you both doing this fine Saturday evening? Good, how are you? Hell yeah, I'm doing good too. How about you, Ann? I'm doing good. It's good to hear. I'm addicted to Halo too, Marina. Let me know if you ever want to play. I love Halo. Hi, Dresden. How you doing? It's going good. It's going good. I'm going to turn down my music just a tad. So if you haven't been part of these streams before, uh, this is a little series where me and some other VTubers voiced over visual novels. Today we're doing Steins Gate, well, the second episode of Steins Gate. It's like a mystery, sci-fi, time travel visual novel. You've probably heard of it. It has a very uh, popular anime series. And this uh, is Steins Gate Elite, which actually uh, takes scenes from the anime and puts them back into visual novel form, I guess. I don't ex still exactly know how everything works in this. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Surprised you guys haven't tried calling me cute yet. Again, like you do at the start of every stream. I was kind of waiting for it. I was kind of waiting for it. For that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's not true. <laughs> Oh, whoa, Nezumi! Whoa! Work your cringe nine to five. I'll, I'll be, be gaming. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Hello, raiders. My name is Classy VT. I'm a fallen angel here in the land of Twitch. I am joined by these amazing people who are going to be helping me voice all these amazing characters in Steinsky. Make sure you give Nezumi a follow as well. You get a special shout out for the raid. Uh, 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 there you go. Special. Hell Ew. yeah. <laughs> special, man. That's the means. You're all special. You're all, you're all special in my heart. Aw. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And without further ado, are you guys ready to continue the story? 
Hmm. Okay. Also, I like the PNG Nezumi. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's very good. <laughs> Load. You guys can see it okay on Discord? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Time travel paranoia. May Queen plus Nian is only a three minute walk from the lab. Coming from Kurama Dori, take a left at uh, uh, Suma Kosaka Crossing and you'll find it. I will have tough times pronouncing all these. Because I'd planned to meet with Daru in the afternoon, I decided to kill some time at the university before heading over. It's usually busy in Akiba during the summer break, but now it's even busier because of the Radicon incident. So many people. Living in Akiba, you get used to crowds and big events, but a gathering of this size is unusual. But I still don't understand what I saw yesterday. I've half accepted that the mass disappearance was just my imagination. Maybe I've become unable to distinguish reality from fantasy, like the media likes to say about teenagers these days. With that thought in mind, I return my gaze to the street. Huh? Her phone was clearly pointed at me. I tried to cover my face, but not quickly enough. The organization is after me, so I can't risk that photo getting out. Wait, 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 wait! Hey! You with the phone camera! Wait! Please wait. Hey! No pictures! Are you with the organization? She completely ignores my objection. And then she goes back to looking at her phone. Answer my question. Are you with the organization? If she is, then I may have to take suitable measures. A man like me is not to be underestimated. Y you're not? Even so, I can't let you keep that picture. The, or the organization will stop at nothing to find my whereabouts, and they'll kill anyone who gets in their way. I need you to delete that picture immediately. Is she even listening? Who did I put as this character again? Me. You Okay, go for it. Sorry. I forgot she's on the quiet side. If I upset you. Before you apologize, I need you to delete that photo. I was shooting the scenery. The scenery? You're a tourist? It's proof of where I was today. You're a strange lady. Hiru Moika. Huh? My name. I guess she's introducing herself. Now, it wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. It's nice and all, but I want her to delete that photo. I have a question for you. May I? First, the photo. There's an urban legend in Akihabara.
Have you heard of it? In urban legend? What is she talking about? Phantom Retro PC. Retro PC? They say there's one in Akihabara. A retro PC? You mean like a 98? Let's look at those tips. Is there really a tip for a 98 PC? <laughs> the Japanese PC? <laughs> oh, from the 98, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess so. That makes sense, right? I don't know why there was a tip for that. That's the first model that comes to mind. But are 98s really that hard to find? No, this. Windows 98 is retro, yes. It looks kind of familiar. Your voice, so I think that's me. Yeah, that was you again. Yeah, <laughs> and IBM 5100. That's the computer John Teeter tried to get. You've seen one? No, I've only heard the name. Coincidence? No. This could be the choice of Stein's Gate. Know anyone who might know? Daru probably knows more about it. He's my favorite right arm. A super hacker ca uh, capable of breaking into even the MI6's mainframe. Got a tip for that too. In the United Kingdom, the government organization responsible for foreign intelligence operates. MI6 stands for Military Intelligence, Section 6. However, its formal name is the Secret Intelligence Service, SIS. The MI6 part of a is a slight exaggeration. If that ever did happen, Men in Black would break down our door and take us away. But the super hacker part is true. The depth of his computer knowledge is uncanny. Speaking of Daru, I'm supposed to meet with him at May Queen plus Nyan. I don't have time to stand and chat with some crazy lady I don't know. Well, I'm off, lady. Media scrum and moderation. I think that was a tip too, wasn't it? I don't think we need to look at it, but... Yes, 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 yes. I try to make a smooth exit one-liner and everything, but she grabs my sleeve before I can disappear into the crowd. What are you doing? Please? Hold on, I'm gonna mess with the audio again. This the audio is like pretty... I can hear everybody's but hers, because she's so quiet. Yeah, the music's kind of quiet on my end, too. Uh... Okay. Oops. No, that's not what I meant to do. Backspace. What are you after? Sorry. Super hacker. I guess she wants to hear Daru's story. It's my fault for mentioning him. Well, I'm meeting up with Daru, so why don't I just take her along? No, wait a second. This could be a devious trap. Maybe she's really a spy sent to kidnap Daru. I refuse! I'll never give up Daru! 
Unperaturated, she shows me her phone again. On the screen is the picture of me that she took. Uh, you still haven't deleted it? Tell me, and I'll delete it. You dare blackmail me? Who do you work for? I... work part-time at Arc Rewrite. What's that? An editorial company here in Akihabara. One of those companies that writes articles for magazines? Wait, you plan on publishing my picture without permission, don't you? The Mad Scientist of Akiba unveiled. I can see headlines now. That's all the organi organization will need to turn Akiba into a sea of blood. No, I must avoid that gruesome outcome at all costs. I have no choice. Sorry, I'm suggesting some audio levels on OBS there. Very well. Accept your terms. At any rate, as long as she has that photo, I have no way of knowing how it might be used. I pull up my email address and show it to her. The woman is typing with terrifying speed, faster than my fingers could ever dream of. It seems she has finished entering my email address. It can't have even taken longer than five seconds. Of course, this woman is an esper. I know what an esper is. Yes, supernatural. Hell yeah. I dub her power. Shining Finger! Her magical thumb types cursed emails at 255 characters per minute. Whoever receives one dies. She could type 255 cursed words per minute. Any poor soul that receives one of her emails shall die. Name? Hoyin Kyoma. Mad scientist. How is it spelled? Like this? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Are you mocking me? Oh my god. <laughs> she tried her best. Just hand me your phone. I'll enter it. But the woman swiftly avoids me, keeping her phone out of my reach. It feels as if she's rejecting my entire personhood. Anyway, she's obviously not going to hand her phone over, so I ask for her address instead. I'll send her a blank mail. She told me her name a few minutes ago, but I forgot it already, so I enter her as Shining Finger. <laughs> I don't need to type anything. It's just to give her my name. I already put her in my contacts. Just send a blank email to Shining Finger. And send. Akave Rintaro. What? How do you know that name? And the blank email. Damn, my email is still linked to my real name. I must change it at once. That's just my alias. I'll send another one with my true. No, this is fine. Nonsense! I'm not Okabe Rintaro, but Hyoin Kyo. Did you delete the picture? She nods slightly, I think. Email you later. 
So ask, okay? About what? An urban legend. Oh, that. I almost forgot. With that, Shining Finger wanders off. Think of Gundam every time you say Shining Finger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know who that is. Does some, yeah. someone want to take it? I think that's just like the maids in the cafe. It, it might be Ferris or... It's one of the two. Or, yeah. Or just random <laughs> hostess. I mean, when you want to go for it. Welcome back, Master. That's uh... that's my <laughs> Yuri. That's so my that's Yuri. Time. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, I had to look at my list. <laughs> <laughs> In this place, my Yuri is known as Mayushi Nyan Nyan. Welcome back, Okairin. Hey, Okairin, Mayushi just noticed something. Welcome back, and Okairin go really well together. Whatever. Oh, that's an Amumu. Yoma, it's great that you came, Nya. Yeah? This maid, Ferris Nyanya, her professional name, of course, hits me with her trademark combo attack of cute cat-like gestures. This is basically just Nekopara. She's Maid Queen plus Nyan's most popular maid. Daru Nyan's here too. He's been waiting, Nyan. Daru frequents this cafe because he's got a crush on Ferris. I also have trouble dealing with this cat girl. She always finds a way to best me. Are you holding another secret meeting to overthrow the evil organization yet? Uh, yeah. Something like that. Ferris wants to join too, Nya. No chance. The organization isn't threatened by cat-eared maids. Not true, Nya. Ferris has the perfect technique to help take them down. What? You finally mastered that secret technique? Yes, Nya. After completing my pilgrimage to the Yana Highlands and overcoming my mentor's death, I finally mastered it. So Ferris wants to participate in the spirit conference like you promised. Nya? You're not suggesting we venture to the sanctuary. The answer is no. Although, you may understand the hidden secrets. You're still too inexperienced. But, but you promised, Nya! Are you going to betray me? My brother's waiting for me there! Since when do you have a brother? And what the hell, what the hell is the spirit conference anyway? Whenever I talk with her, I run out of comebacks, which is really unusual for me. And then she takes the initiative, leaving me with nothing to do but listen to her fantasies. I mean, come on, you can only take it so far. There's a very clear difference between her stories and mine. As anyone can see, I speak nothing but the truth, while Ferris only has delusions in a made up backstory. I have to pay, uh, play along. That's why I feel like I can never best her. Um, I don't quite get it, but can Mayushi go to the sanctuary too? You can't come. The discuss uh, this discussion is over. 
No fair, Kyoma! That's right, leaving my Yushi and Ferris Chan behind is mean. Who's... who is Ferris? Ferris Chan is Ferris Chan, right? Right! Is she talking about this Ferris? Is that her real name? Have I been mistaken this whole time? That's a disturbing thought. Mayuchi has a hard time saying Ferris, so I call her Ferris Chan instead. Oh, so that's it. It's like we're in a girl's school! That's not too tabby! Show me to the table already. How long do you want me to stand here waiting? <laughs> Sorry, Nya! Table for two this way, Nyan! Are you loving this character, Mumu? I... I... I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. She guides me to Dara's table. You're way late. Seriously, man. So, what were you just talking about with Ferris? I want details. You really want to know? I don't think you'd understand it. Hell, even I didn't get most of it. It's nothing more than an uh, amalgam of fa uh, fantasy and delusion. Ah, the usual. Your conversations are too much for regular otaku. You guys ex exude uh, an aura or something, you know? Like, we all know what an otaku is. It's like you to have your own reality marble. <laughs> you know, I can't forgive you. I hate this. <laughs> Reality Marble, the type of magecraft in which the user overwrites the world with a pocket dimension based on his or her emotional experience. Damn. Play they both are crazy and live in their own world. Yee. Yeah. I'm not even close to keeping up with her. New message. From Lukaku. Do you want to voice the text to Momo? Oh. Um, I asked my Yuri-chan about what it is you're fighting against, but she just laughed and didn't answer. What should I do? I want to help Kyo- Kyoya-san? Should I reply? You don't need to know. Not yet. Eventually, if Stein's Gate so chooses, you will learn the truth. Whether you're ready or not. Okay, that should do it. Nielsen. So, what did you need? That's right. In my confrontations with Shining Finger and Cat Girl, I almost forgot my original objective. I was going to head to the lab in about an hour. I have an urgent matter to discuss. Top secret. You remember... John Teeter. John Teeter? Who's that? The, the self-proclaimed uh, time traveler who appeared on the internet about 10 years ago. I thought we talked about him before. Is this a new addition to your made-up backstory? It's nothing like that. Everything I say is the truth. Oh, what a pain. Well... I guess I can play along. So, what's the sort of this source on this Tidor guy that's being from the future? Wait, you've seriously never heard about him before?
Seriously, bro? I haven't. I'm sure you didn't just forget? Uh, can't say for sure. There are even books about him. I might remember if you show me one. You really don't remember? Memories fade. We're not computers, man. I remember talking to Dara about John Titer back in high school. It was only idle talk, so it's possible that Dara forgot about it. Dara's quite the internet addict, after all. And the internet lets you choose what information you want to see. There's no guarantee Dara looked up info on John Titer. If he had, I doubt he would have forgotten so completely. Is it my memories that are mistaken, or everyone else's? Then, what about the IBN 5100? I show him a picture of Shining Finger Stemmy. Oh, you know about that? Cool. So, you know about it? It's the model IBN released back in 1975. That's right. The John Titer from 10 years ago mentioned that in American message board. Or message that. Mentioned that on American message board. Hi Arts, how you doing? He traveled to 1975 first, obtained an IBM 5100, then leaped to 1998. Love you too! I'm oh, sorry, what kind of computer is it? The stupidly expensive kind. Back when it came out, computers were so expensive that average people couldn't get their hands on them. It was full of proprietary IBM technology and was pretty powerful computer for its time. Then, six years later, in 1981, IBM launched the popular IBM PC series. Now that's more famous. Anyway, it's not like I'm an expert. This is just stuff I read on the wiki. You heard of the urban legend that there's one in Akiba? You bet I have. Just last month, there was big talk about it on the net. Some ad channelers heard the rumors and went searching for it. My friend on Pre Prepara, Sister Centipede, was the main person behind that. Now we know what a wiki is, but what the fuck is Frepara? A popular SNS website. Is this supposed to be like Facebook? Probably. Or Twitter. Frepara. Uh, I don't know what that's a parody of. Not sure. Oh. Even the legendary... Nade Hart, their Blitzschnell joined the fray, but they still couldn't find it. So, it was just a hoax? Who knows? There are tons of underground shops in Akiba. It wouldn't be strange if an IBN 50 and 100 suddenly turned up in some hole in a wall. Hmm, I see. My phone suddenly starts vibrating. <laughs> Do you want to read that, uh, Anne? Are the yeah, sorry about earlier. I'm not used to talking with guys, so I was so nervous. <laughs> Anyway, can you please, 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 times a thousand, ask the super hacker about the urban legend? Thanks! I'll text you again soon. Like it or not! What's with this mail? Disregarding the weird timing. Is this really the gloomy, unsociable woman I met in front of Radicon? Right, power seems to be based on Mixie. Oh, got it. I 
I can't believe she's already so friendly considering we just been exchanged addresses. She's like a completely different person in this email. Does she have split personalities or something? I tell Dara to wait a bit as I start typing out her response. It's not like I trust her, but I figure I should tell her what I learned from Daru. The IBN 5100 is extremely rare. El Sai Kangaroo. Message complete. Okay, sent. Sorry for the wait, Daru. So, there's one thing I need to know. The IBN 5100 has the power to destroy the world, right? What? It doesn't have the power to do anything, let alone destroy the damn world. What's this, Nya? The world's gonna be destroyed, Nya? Master, thanks for waiting, Nya Nya. Omelet rice, Nya. Please enjoy your meal before the world ends! Whoa, the world is doomed for the win. Paris's handwriting is so cute, it puts my omelette in danger too. Darunyan, Darunyan, have you considered participating in the Ferris Cup, Nya? Yeah, this is the remake of Stansky. They did it with the anime scenes. It's kind of cool. Yeah, of course I'm participating. Ferris Cup? What's that? Next Sunday, we're hosting a Rynet tournament at the cafe, Nya. Ferris is the event organizer. It was all my idea, Nya. Hi, Bob. How you doing? You can participate too if you want, Kyoma. Entrance fee is a thousand yen and includes a drink. Whoever beats Ferris gets to enjoy some Ferris's some of Ferris's home cook home cooking, yeah. It'll never da -da -da. happen. Okarin sucks at Rynet. Do -do -do. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> yeah, but it's so fun. Looking disappointed, Ferris meowed her way back to the counter. Not even mouthfuls of omelette rice could stop Dara's rambling about Ferris. His passion is truly overwhelming. Ferris is one of the most skilled Ryanetters I know. She's gone undefeated in over 400 unofficial matches. Is she Rixon Gracie? It's so disappointing that Ferris doesn't go to an official tournament. She'd win if she did, no doubt. Why doesn't she? I'm sure it's for the customers. She probably doesn't want to inconvenience the store. Truly, a model maid. Also, she's Mayushi's age, so she probably has school too. She doesn't want to inconvenience the store? Yeah, she's holding the Ferris cup here? That doesn't matter at all. The point is, Ferris is cute, and cuteness is justice. Cute cat-eared maids are sweet. If you know what I mean, and that's all that matters, right? So, in the end, do you bat for the 2D team or the 3D team? I dare say, I'm bi. <laughs> <laughs> You're an inspiration, Dara. I know, I'm just too awesome. Dara usually doesn't show enthusiasm for anything. The ex uh, acceptations are Moe and Ferris. But the exceptions are very fair. Yeah. I wish she were the pa uh, this passionate about our experiments. That was a good scene. I had to pull Dara away from the fair uh, from Ferris so we could return to the lab. 
We arrived to find it hotter than a sauna in hell. I quickly open the windows, letting a small breeze blow in. It won't be enough. New message. From Ferris. Oh god, I found with this Amuma. You're more percep perceptive than I thought, Nya. So now you understand what's at stake. The Red Southern Cross will soon hatch, Nya. The time has come for Ferris to journey to the Sanctuary and prepare for... I can say no more, Nya. Alright, we need to talk about this pun. What are you talking about? Will he quit <laughs> testing me with his mockery? Reply. I really wish we had an air conditioner. I turn on the computer. This is our PC for commercial use among uh, lab members. It still uses an old CRT monitor, so it looks ancient. I wonder if the new titer is posting. Still posting. Okay, we're not gonna go through all this again. We're gonna go through the important ones, so... I see that everyone would like to know more about me and my time machine. I'm happy to explain, just so you know. It's impossible to reproduce the current technology. Certain crucial uh, components won't exist until CERN invents them in uh, 2034. Hi Porky, how you doing? Time travel works by altering gravity. Basically, you can think of it as using a twin paradox. But that alone isn't enough to reverse time. So, we'll find... So that's me. It uses uh, Tipler cylinders and Kerr black holes, doesn't it? Just like you said 10 years ago. And your time, uh, time machine is a 1970s Chevy. I know it all. Oh, shut the fuck up, you disgusting! <laughs> Holy shit. God damn. Chevy's in America. Go German with a BMW, damn, okay. Where are the named ones? Does someone want to read that? That's not uh, me. I don't know who that is, actually. You wanna go for it, Amumu? My Typler cylinders? Are you referring to the Typler machine? Well, what? A Typler cylinder would have to be 10 kilometers in diameter, 1,000 kilometers long, and have mass equal to the sun, and revolve 2,500 times per second to become a time machine. Lol. How do you even fit that onto a Chevy? Even if you could, a Typler machine can't travel farther back in time than the moment of its creation. Enough of your delusions. At channel is not your blog. I want to hear from Titer. This is a surprise. Does this mean people this age really know about my time machine? Did you really encounter me 10 years ago? If so, then that must have been on another world line. I at least have not gone to the year 2000. In any case, the important part is that a rotating black hole is the same effect as the Tipler cylinder. You can learn more about Kerr black holes by studying Penrose diagram on Tipler's calculations, or Tipler's calculations. My time machine works by generating a pair of Kerr black holes. Still got the dream plan of opening a maid cafe that just has incredibly muscular butler slash maids flexing as they serve the cute cupcakes. That sounds amazing! The other voice, I must have missed something. Uh, you can see all the voice actors here. In Japanese, please. Uh, do you want to read that, Nezumi? I think that's another person. The twin paradox occurs when two, the two meet again. Instead of looking at it from the third person perspective, it'll make more sense if you think of it from the brother's perspectives. From the younger brother's perspective, the older brother exited Earth at close to the speed of light and then returns. So naturally, time moves slower for the older brother. So what about from the older brother's perspective? That's the question. Uh, it's you, Momo, again. For the same theory, Goku. He didn't deny it? LOL! All aboard Hyoin's crazy chain! Prepare for a train wreck! Her black hole time travel is theoretically possible, but... 1. How do you get the black holes to spin? Don't tell me you wait until you find one spinning naturally. That's ridiculous! 2. How do you pass through the singularity? There's no way a Chevy can withstand that pressure. Still no stock prices. Crash. This isn't a delusion. I know for the fact that Titer posted it 10 years ago. There's even a book about it. Search the used bookstores if you don't believe me. 
His Chevy was a gravity distortion unit. That's what he said 10 years ago. Me. Oh, uh, from the from the older brother's perspective, the younger brother, still on Earth, moved away from him at lightning speed, and then he came back. Right? In other words, wouldn't time slow down for the younger brother? Shouldn't the older brother be a lot older by the time they meet again? What does this mean exactly? That's the paradox. Hell yeah. Yes, it does have a gravity distortion unit. My time machine is not perfect. It was built by a third party who reverse engineered CERN's design. The gravity distortion unit is a little unstable. First, the unit produces a micro singularity, then injects electrons to induce rapid rotation. This generates a local gravity sin wave. As the time machine passes through the singularity, the gravity distortion unit regulates the pressure to ensure a safe passage. I'm not a specialist, so I cannot explain the me mechanics any further. Let me just say that curved black holes can be manufactured. I assume everyone's aware of CERN's current experiments with black hole creation. Pong didn't read, fuck you. I set the des destination with the VGL system. That's variable gravity lock. It functions by reading the local gravity of the destination and locking the tipler sin wave onto that location. By locking on Earth's gravity, it ensures that I don't end up floating in space. It use, uh, uses four cesium clocks to make the calculations. So the margin of error is ne uh, negligible. negligible. Same information was in the teeter book. All you've done is post 10 year, uh, 10 year old copy pasta. Anyone could do that. How do I know you're the real teeter? I'm feeling more and more disappointed. Still nothing concrete. Nice try, I guess, but I won't be fooled. Whoa, I shouldn't waste all day on ad channel. We have more important things to deal with. Namely, the phone wave name subject to change we haven't experimented with is... Uh, with it since yesterday. It's high time I figure out what's going on with that thing. Hey, Daru, what's with the uh, X6800 or 68000? I mean, it's a 28 year old or a 20 year old machine with specs lower than my cell phone. It's cool, duh. Um, I might actually need to end here. I'm actually not feeling really well right now. I know. <laughs> I w wasn't feeling well at the start, but I thought I could make it through, but I'm actually feeling, like, terrible right now. Like, I need to lay down. <laughs> I'm really sorry, everyone. I'm no, sorry you're good. You guys are. No, okay. Your health is okay. more important. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to get through, but no, I, need, I need to go lay down. Okay, we're gonna find That's someone to raid, and I'll be back on Monday. Raid this uh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, let's raid Cell. He's playing Minecraft. I'll be okay. I think I ate something because after I ate dinner, I started feeling really sick. I think I ate something. That oh wasn't no! Good. Ew, stomach bug. Yeah, my stomach's fucking oh, no. killing me. Okay, I'm gonna go raid Cell. I'll see you guys on Monday. Thank you all for coming, and bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Get well soon, classy. Thank you. Wow. Hey, my boy. I'm really sorry, guys. No, you're good.